Hi everyone! The book I have today, the characters are all bugs or insects. The title is The Buggiest Bug. The author is Carol Diggory Shields and the illustrator or the person who drew the pictures is Scott Nash. Okay. So in this book, the bugs are having a competition to see who can have the title of the buggiest bug. So they're going to be slithering and swirling and flying and making their chirping or the crickets are making their songs. Okay, it's almost like a talent show. Okay, so let's see who gets that title of the buggiest bug. All right. Do you have six legs? Do you wiggle or crawl? Could you be the buggiest bug of them all? A contest for insects. News buzzed through the air. Bugs slithered and swarmed from here and from there. Down by the pond, young damselfly Dilly said, I'm a plain bug, never clever nor frilly. But while I won't win, I would still like to see who's the buggiest bug turns out to be. So this is Dilly the damselfly. She's gonna go watch others compete. Fireflies lit up the stage with their lights. Glowworms glowed softly, a beautiful sight. A lacy white curtain hung from the trees and billowed and swayed in the warm evening breeze. The clearing was humming with bugs of all sizes, flittery jittery hoping for prizes. The page is stuck. There were more bugs than Dilly could ever have dreamed, from tiny noceums to fat termite queens. Some had great pinchers, some had proud horns, some looked like branches or flowers or thorns. Dilly crept closer as the biggest judge grinned. Sweet little bugs, let our contest begin. How odd, Dilly thought. Those judges have wings that are tied to their backs with gossamer strings. Now, why would wings need to be tied onto them? Most insects already have wings. Hmm, maybe that's a problem. Click beetles clacked and whirligigs whirled. Crickets sang solos and swallowtails twirled. A ladybug curtsied and tumblebugs flipped. The judges applauded, then licked their lips. The judges looked shifty, so Dilly kept squinting. Then sure enough, she spied their fangs glinting. She yelled, we've been flim flam, bamboozled, distracted. Those judges aren't insects, she cried. They're arachnids. So arachnids is a really big word meaning spiders. The big judge hissed softly, too late for you all, it's curtain time now, and it started to fall. Folks, he continued, we liked all your acts, but we think we will like you much better as snacks. The bugs froze in fear. This looked like the end. But Dilly thought quickly and shouted out, Friends, there's only one way to get out of this mess. 
Each insect must do what each insect does best. So charge, yelled a squadron of swift soldier flies, and bombardier beetles took to the skies. Dilly whirled up through a hole in the net. It's working, it's working. We'll beat them yet. The army ants marched and the mantises prayed. Keep fighting, called Dilly, and don't be afraid. Then the stink bugs united and they gave off their worst smells. P.U. We give up, the spiders all yelled. They scuttled away. Hurrah, cried the bugs, giving high sixes and fuzzy warm hugs. The cicada piped up. It's time for a speech. Attention, my friends, he said with a screech. The contest is over and we have a winner. Without this young damsel, we'd all be dinner. She might be young and she might be small, but Dilly is the buggiest bug of them all. The end. Oh, so at the beginning of the story, Dilly didn't even want to compete in the competition. She was just going to watch and have fun. But then while at the competition, she noticed a problem. The judges weren't insects or bugs at all. They were arachnids or spiders that wanted to have the bugs for snack. So she thought really quickly on how to solve the problem. She got all of the bugs and insects to do what they do best, like fly or march or make stinky smells <laughs> to scare the spiders away. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed Dilly and her buggiest bug. And I'll see you guys later to read another book. Bye!